Chpandeya, under the guidance of a sheikh, it's, it goes without saying that this person is following in the path of the Prophet. They're, 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 they're not different. They're, it's the same. So what I would like to share with you is another, gent uh, another famous sheikh, uh, Mir Dard, um, who was a Naqshbandi Mujadidi, but he, uh, from his father, who I'll, ex I'll explain this in a second here, um, went and initiated people in the Tariqay Muhammadiyya, in addition to the Naqshbandi Mujadidiyya. And I would like to share some other, uh, this is something that um, as a historian um, is of interest and I, and I hope that, uh, and as a person who studies Sufism is of interest and I, I would like to share some of these things with, with you. Haja Mirdar, um, both of his parents uh, were Sayyids uh, from Delhi and they were descendants um, through Hussein, uh, rahmatullahi and, and his father, Nasir Muhammad Andalib, was a descendant of Bahuddin Naqshband, the founder figure of the Naqshbandiyya. And he was also a descendant of the 11th Shi Imam, uh, Hassan uh, Askari. His mother was a descendant, in addition to being a Sayyidah, uh, was a descendant of Abdul Qadir Jilani, rahmatullahi who, as you remember, is the founder figure of the Qadriya. Now, what's interesting here um, is that this is also uh, connecting back to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, through one's lineage. Not only a spiritual lineage, but a blood lineage. And, and so this is a um, this is Emir Dar and his father were particularly uh, blessed in this regard uh, in terms of having so many um, connections back to uh, the Prophet Muhammad. Now, what happened, in his, and I'll explain this in a second here, to his father was he had an extraordinary experience, which I will recount in his own words. But I need to explain um, uh, the context of this. In, if you look at these salsalas, and I'm thinking now particularly the Naqshbandi salsala, you will find that there are some links where the two sheikhs um, didn't meet each other in physical form. The transmission from the Prophet Muhammad happened with the, uh, let's call it the spirit of the Shaykh. This is called uh, an Uwaisi initiation. It's, um, it's named after Uwais al-Qarani, a Yemeni, who met the Prophet وسلم, in spirit and became a Muslim uh, while he was in Yemen, never having met uh, the Prophet. And so this is a way that a person who is blessed with this kind of experience can have a much, uh, you might say, um, there's, less chain, there's less links in the chain between the person and Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, Andalib, Mir uh, Dard's father had been, I, I'd like to recount uh, to you how this uh, Tariqi Muhammadiyya uh, came about. Um, Nasr al-Andalib had been in a uh, secluded, uh, in seclusion. It wasn't something he did very often, uh, but he had been in total seclusion for a week. And the first thing, the first person to meet him after this uh, seclusion was his son, Mirdar. And the first thing he said to his son is that you are the Awl al Muhammadin al Khalasin. You're the first of the pure uh, Muhammadans. 
So I would like to explain what happened here, and I will read this um, in Mirdard's um, own words. He ordered me, except they're in English, <laughs> uh, he ordered me to be the first who submitted and the first who took an oath, this, this oath is the baya, the oath of, an, of, of initiation, with his hand in his firm, exalted path of the tariqi Muhammadiyya. He instructed me that a Muhammadan, that someone who's following this path, should not be agitated and restless, but content and happy. He informed me that God had specifically favored us Muhammadans through the spirit of Hazrat Imam Hassan to the extent that he had been given a special connection. This is Imam Hassan uh, anhu, the son of Ali uh, Ibn Abi Talib. He was instructed to transmit this connection to others, this connection um, with Imam Hassan. And the beginning of this connection was that Andali was that Andali was experiencing would in time be completed and made visible by the expected Mahdi at the end of time. Andali, Mir's, Mirdard's father, inquired to Imam Hassan about whether he should name this path the way of Hassan, because that's who communicated to him. And Imam Hassan replied that this work was not of his own doing, and that we are all children lost in the ocean of reality. Uh, Hassan Radilanu said, your name is Muhammad, this is uh, to uh, Haja Andalib, and our character is that of Muhammad, and our call is that of Muhammad wasallam. This very path is Tariqai Muhammadiyya alayhi salam. Our path to God is the prophetic path and our path is the Muhammadan path. And so this is a, a very special occurrence that happened to um, Mirdard's father. And to be able to have this experience uh, while being awake makes um, by extension almost um, Nasr al-Andalib a almost uh, a son of Ali ibn Abi Talib and and so I would like to communicate oh, by the way this is not something that is unique in, in the sense of Uwaisi initiations Bahuddin uh, Naqshban uh, rahmatullah alayhi, uh, Abdul Qadir Jalani rahmatullah alayhi, and Imam Abu Hanifa rahmatullah alayhi, all of these three people in addition to many other uh, noteworthy uh, religious figures have had these kind of experiences. Now what was this Tariqi Muhammadiyya and how did it, uh, how is it different or how did it complement the Naqshbandi um, path? And Mir Dar saw it as encompassing all the Islamic paths in the same way as